All right, so what I'm going to show you how to do now is to figure out the composition of your unknown using the areas under the curve that you obtained from the chromatogram of your unknown and then correcting those areas using the response ratio that you got from the equimolar mixture. Uh, I showed you how to calculate the response ratio in the previous video. All right, so what you see here is a set of simulated data. A student could inject the unknown mixture into the gas chromatograph and the areas under the curve that the computer read were these numbers. So the detector, as I mentioned before, does not respond exactly linear to each of the three compounds. So we need to correct the areas by the response ratios. What that would mean is that each number we divide by its relevant response ratio. So the area for ethyl acetate divide by the response ratio for ethyl acetate the number that we calculated before was 0.837 for the response ratio for ethyl acetate. So the corrected area is 103 divided by 0.837. So the corrected area is 123 for ethyl acetate. Propyl acetate's response ratio is 1.00. So the area for propyl acetate stays the same. Butyl acetate's response ratio is 1.15. To figure out butyl acetate's corrected area, you have 194, which is the area the computer will read, uh, divided by 1.15. The corrected area then is 169. 169 is the corrected area. So. These numbers are the corrected area under the curve for each of the three components. To figure out the percent composition, you need to add together the corrected areas, add those numbers together, and figure out the percent of each compound using these corrected areas. So it's 169 plus 287 plus 123. So the total corrected area is 579. This is the total corrected area. Now we need to figure out the percent composition for each of the components using this total corrected area. All right, so the percent of ethyl acetate in the mixture would be the area of ethyl acetate, 123, divided by the total corrected area, 579, times 100%. All right, so 123 divided by 579 times 100% is... 21.2% ethyl acetate. Propyl acetate, the percent is 287 divided by the total 579 times 100%. So that's 287 divided by 579. And you get then for the total, uh, for the percent, 50%. For butyl acetate, you have then 169 divided by the total corrected area, 579 times 100%, and that is 29.2%. So that would give you the percent composition for each of these three components in a mixture of the three.